hey guys welcome back to bro code so today we are going to learn how to implement pagination using flat list so i have already opened the app and it's running in ios so first we need uh, an api with uh, pagination like uh, we can put some page names and all the data there so in every page we will get certain amount of uh, data and first we need to like uh, create a function here and i will be using github uh, sample uh, url for fetching the data for pagination so i'll create a function and here i'll be using the fetch method to get the, to call the api actually and in use effect we will be like calling this uh, function get movies and I'll just create the use effect function. Yeah, okay, all right. So here we will call this get movies function. And here we need to like get rid of all this. And I'll be giving some padding here. Yeah, 10%. All right, so now we will create our flat list so we will provide some data here and i'll put the, this empty array and uh, we need our render item so first let's create the data let's put it in use state Okay, I'll provide an empty array here and data can be used here. Now render item. I'll be using a simple example basically. So I can create the render item here and it will return the view. So we have a view and here I'll be using a text. So right now let's make it empty okay so now we have to call this fetch method and I'll be like using some method that I have already implemented so I'll just paste it so now we have an sample API and it has pages and each page contain 30 objects basically 30 percent data and this is a get api and i am using logs here so we will be setting our data in set data so that we can use our data and this is the most important part here because once we get our data for the first time it will be set in data and again when we get our data so we have to like merge both of them together and now i will be needing the page number so every time we scroll we have to increase our page number actually and whatever we fetch we have to add up every time so by default it should be one in the starting yeah so here so every time page changes use effect should run and it will call the a function and we are using here this spread operator basically so what it does it takes both the arrays and merge all the elements together we don't need to use push here so this is the important part and now we can use here item okay one more thing so yeah for yeah well, yeah so we need to put a method called on and reach here so whenever uh, the end reach function is called so uh, we will set our page to uh, plus one actually so on end reach function is basically triggers uh, whenever we scroll to bottom and we can use uh, on end reach threshold basically to 
give it a value so the maximum value is i guess one so 0.5 is like halfway through our scrolling so whatever we can see on the screen uh, to till the half so i have put 0 0.5 so while scrolling once we get to know if it is scrolling we can use it i'll just refresh this and uh, we should be getting our data so right now it is null and i'll just refresh my code yeah after refreshing yeah i'll be getting my data and these all are names and once i scroll everything is loaded by default yeah as you can see uh, in each page we have 30 elements and all these elements are added up so now it is 60 and 150 and 180 now so when we're whenever we reach to the end of, of our page the data will be added and this is how pagination can be implemented in our application and this is the whole method yeah thank you so much for watching